Hi everyone, so today I have a nail art and nail polish haul to share with you all. Um, this has been a long time coming and I'm just now getting around to showing the things I got. Now I've had to play with lighting so there's no glare on these stamping plates. I should have left the blue film on them. But I did buy some new stamping plates and that's the first thing that I wanted to share with you all. Um, this is Uber Chic Plate Set 15, and I thought these plates were so cute, and I would use a lot of the images on here. So I just wanted to go over and show the images. There are some really pretty geometric images on here and butterflies. Um, I'm really excited about that floral image there, and I really love the clouds. And the swirls. Okay, and we'll go over the next one. This one has almost like, that could almost be like a wood grain. And then it's got like the, um, the images where you stamp that and then you stamp this on top of that with whatever color you choose and then um, the fun little lines here I mean there's just I love all of the images on these plates all kinds of different varieties so many looks you could do that was plate 1502 and here is 03 and again, there are some more layering images right there. There's like the center and then you layer that on around it. And then there's another one where you do like the base color of whatever you want. And then you stamp that on top. Um, again, beautiful images. I love this little, um, what do they call this, the face style. I like the way that is because you can do just different nails with different things and it all just works. Um, there is a really pretty like damask design and just all kinds of fun stuff. It almost looks like a honeycomb and there's like a, um, a, a ray, I don't know how to say it, a ray, a ray bass, a rip, I'm not sure. <laughs> but that's kind of like one of those images. but. Yeah, that was the last stamping plate. You can see it's a little bit dirty. I was testing. Um, what I was testing was some Sally Hansen Insta Dry polishes I bought. Um, there's a bunch of them that I bought. Um, I got one, two, three, four. I got six. Okay. Um, and I also tested them to see if they stamp on a wheel, and I'll show that too. Okay, I'll tell you in order which colors these are. Okay, we have, um, this one is Midnight Drive, and it's got like a really pretty shimmer. And I like how the bottle cap coordinates with the color inside the bottle. And as you can tell, that one probably wouldn't stay up a lot in it to be. This one is, Time is money. It's a really pretty minty green. And then we have a really pretty rose gold. This one's called Petal to the Metal. And I hoped that this one would have stamped better, but it done it done okay. It didn't stamp amazing. But it is really pretty. This one is called Espresso and it stamps amazing. And this one is called Peachy Breeze. And this one stamps amazing. And then this one is called Set Sail. And again, this one stamps amazing over white and black. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the nail wheel where I tested them. Okay, we'll start over here. Let's zoom in. As you can tell, I had trouble keeping um, the color from the other polishes off of there <laughs> but um on the right there this is P 
Peachy Breeze, which is right here. Whoops, right here. And then we have Espresso, and I use my Moyu Doodles plate for this. And then we have Set Sail, which stamps awesome. Actually, I have this, I use Set Sail for this manicure right here, this floral manicure. Um, and then we have, uh, I think this is Midnight Drive. Let's see. Yes, Midnight Drive, and as you can tell, it struggled to stamp up a lot, but it does stamp up a lot. And then we have, um, just ignore the cat hair, we have Wild Time, or Time is Money, why did you say Wild Time? Time is Money, and it stamped okay, it didn't stamp amazing, I mean it did stamp up a lot, and for some reason this one, it ripped, and it somehow got, what is that cat hair? I can't tell. I think that's cat hair in it. <laughs> Seriously, it's everywhere. But um, the rose gold, as you can tell, it didn't stamp that well. Petal to the metal. So um, that's those tested. And the last three things I'm going to share with you all are some picture polish shades that I got. Um, the first one is Spring. I'm going to zoom out so I can show you the brush. Um, this color is just so beautiful. I have a very long wish list of picture polish shades. Let me zoom in. Let zoom in on the bottle. Unfortunately, they are very expensive, like 15 bucks a bottle, and yeah, I just can't buy them that often, but whenever I have extra money, or my husband has extra money that he gives me, I do try and get some. That was spring. Um, I haven't worn that yet, but I have worn the next two. Here's Mossy. And I've been wanting this one for a long time. I'm going to get closer. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous green. Mossy green. And also, I got Cozy, and I've already used this for nail art. It's just a gorgeous, like, in-between green and yellow shade. It's so beautiful. My picture polish collection is kind of crazy, because I won one of the contests a while back, and I, um... I think I got to pick out like 10 of their nail polishes or something like that for $150. So it's I've got to get another nail rack for them. Um, but yeah, that's my haul. That's everything that I've gotten. Um, and if you're wondering why my nails are different, like on the right hand I have LMP and on the left I have um, the stamping. I was too tired last night to finish my other hand, so... I don't know if anybody else gets that way and just does one hand, but that was everything I got. Um, also, I got my PR package from Polish, which was the um, 12 Days of Christmas collection, and you already seen the swatch video of that probably. If you haven't, then I will link it down below, but thank you all for watching, and I will talk to you all soon.